Welcome to the Northwest Training and Development Team and Pathways Daily Coronavirus Update. Today's information is about the government's updated guidance for everyone to stay at home and stay safe. On the 23rd of March, the government said that everyone should stay at home for three weeks. This was to help stop the spread of the virus. People most at risk of becoming seriously poorly if they caught the virus were asked to stay at home for 12 weeks. Yesterday, the government told us that we need to carry on staying at home to stop the spread of the virus. The government said that everyone staying at home so far has helped to slow the spread of the virus, but we need to carry on doing this to keep people safe. They will tell us when it's safe for us to change things. Everyone needs to stay at home. We can leave home once a day to get essential shopping like food or for medicine. We can leave home for medical needs and we can get some exercise outside of our home once a day such as going for a walk or a run. We can leave home to go to work if we really have to and it isn't possible for us to work from home. Everyone must stay away from people that we don't live with. This is called social distancing. This means we should keep at least six feet or three steps away from people that we don't live with. We should not visit anyone else's home and we should not have visitors into our own home, even if they are friends or family. The government agrees that there are some people who might need to go out more than once a day. People can leave home two or three times a day with support if they need it, if it is for a medical need. This includes people with a learning disability or autism, especially if it's in their support plan. People can visit open spaces and travel away from their homes if this is needed. If you need to leave home and travel some distance from home because of your support needs, you should still keep six feet or three steps away from other people while you are away from home and you should stay as close to home as you possibly can. Everyone should stay at home as much as possible. We should all take care of our well-being during this time where we have to stay at home. We should keep in touch with friends and family over the phone or the internet, even though we can't see them in person. We should spend time doing things we enjoy at home with the people that we live with, like going for a walk, watching a film, painting or drawing or doing the gardening. We should speak to someone we know and trust if we need support or advice. So for now, we should all stay at home, stay safe, but stay connected with each other.